Okay, here we are at exercise nine, where we're gonna be looking at using our Mocha tracking data for stabilization in After Effects. So um, I've done the, the tracking work here. There was just a, a little couple of bits. Um, actually, let's take a quick look at our shot again. Uh, and you can see it's quite a jerky dolly shot. If you have a look there, we've got our movement, but it's really not at all smooth. So our job here is to try and just stabilize out and smooth it out a little bit and try and uh, try and get this looking a bit better. So I've got two different tracks I've done uh, just to show you the, uh, the difference that it's gonna make. So I've got a, a track on the background, so on this area over here, and you can see that's holding in nicely. And I've also got a track down here on the shoe. And there was nothing special about these. Um, both of them were uh, taken pretty much at the default, uh, but only tracking the translation, not tracking the scale or rotation on these. Now, what we can do, and this is um, actually something that we're gonna look at when we deal with uh, doing uh, rotoscoping work, is we can click on at the top on the toolbar up here, next to the zoom windows buttons, we have a button that's called stabilize. And if I click that there, you can see that's now gonna keep my stabilized object in focus and trying to smooth that out. And the rest of the, the image is just gonna move around um, to compensate for keeping this in here. And we can see the difference that that's gonna make by having the shoe in focus where we keep the attention on our girl in the foreground, as opposed to, if I just move to my background, having the background in focus there, where the girl sort of moves around still, but at least we have a nice clear shot of the background, eh? So it's gonna be important to choose which uh, object we actually keep in focus at any time. Now taking the tracking data out for stabilization is just the same as it was for doing match moving. So I export the tracking data and we come up to After Effects, Transform Data. And I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard and let's pop into After Effects. Now in a previous exercise, when we did the match move, we applied the tracking data to a null object or the object that we we're trying to match move. When we're doing stabilization, we actually apply the, uh, the transform data directly to the layer that we're working on. So I'm gonna come up, go edit and paste. And again, remember to have it at the first keyframe or the first frame. And I'm gonna hit U again, just to open up all my keyframes here. Now, if we're just doing a straight transform stabilize, the only ones I'm interested in, the only keyframes I'm interested in is the anchor point. So all the position, scale and rotation, we can just remove the keyframes off of these uh, and just uh, totally delete all the, uh, the keyframes so it's not animated anymore. And when we do that, let's just see what we get. Well, we get a nice stabilized image with our background totally static there. Now that's, that's not quite the look that we're, that we're going for here. Um, so here's one way of um, just smoothing things out a little bit. So if I add a keyframe for my position at this point here, we can then come in and where it starts to move totally out, let's say actually the final frame over here, what I'm gonna do is just add another keyframe over here and move this back you know, relatively close to the center. So now when we have a look at this, we still get our stabilized object, but we don't have it sort of disappearing off into the, uh, the other side of the, uh, of the screen. And overall, this is much nicer here because we're gonna need to try and find a way of getting rid of this uh, white area here. And we can either sort of smooth it out in this way, or we can scale up. So let's have a little look. Just by adding a few linear keyframes. That should sort of help out a little bit. Once we've done that, we can now scale it up. 
get rid of the rest of it there. Cool, so that's our nice smooth shot. And that's a stabilized based off the background. So let's call this one background stabilized. And let's make uh, another copy of this. Let's bring that down. And let's just come back into uh, Mug Pro. And we'll see what happens when we stabilize it around the shoe instead. So again, just have the shoe track selected, come to our export tracking data, copy that into the clipboard. Let's pop back into After Effects again and we'll paste that in. Boom. And hit U to bring up all of the keyframes, do the same as we did before, remove all the position, scale and rotation keyframes and just leave the anchor point. And now we have a equally stabilized shot, equally stable shot, but the focus is much more on the girl here. And we can do the same little tricks we did before. So click on position over here. And then at the end, we'll just move this back in a wee bit. And somewhere in the middle, I'll add another little keyframe here. And you can see that point there, by adding a keyframe here, see when it hits a keyframe, boom, everything starts going a little bit different. So the movement isn't quite as smooth. So if we do get that sort of effect, let's just move the, the keyframe we set to a different, whoops, do you want to move that one? I want to move the position. Yeah, move the position just to a different sort of area. and realize that we're not going to be able to get rid of all of the uh, all of the white borders. Now we've only got a little bit of, uh, of white around the edge or a little bit of border around the edge. Then here's a little uh, trick that we can use. Let's uh, bring that over here. And we'll find the effect called motion tile. And we'll apply that effect over there. And I'm just going to click on mirror edges in motion tile and set my output width to 110 or 130. Uh, set that to 110 on each side and let's play that back. And you can see what it's doing now is it's just, instead of um, showing our white border, it's showing us a little mirror of what's actually going on. So, so long as nothing too large is going on or too interesting is going on at the edge, we can often get away with uh, with doing that sort of mirroring there rather than scaling it up to, to huge heights. Because the more you scale it up, you sort of run the risk of um, getting a, a much softer image. So here with a combination of scaling to 104, which even then is, is quite, quite big on this particular footage. So say 103%. You know, we get rid of most of the um, most of the problem rather than having to scale up to like you know 110, 115, and then ending up with really soft footage. So that's stabilizing when we're just doing uh, transform stabilizing. So just stabilizing the position. What happens when we want to stabilize out a little bit further? Let's come back into Mocha and we'll open up another project. And we'll just open up our rotation that we worked on before. And I'm just going to export out that tracking data again, After Effects transform data and copy that to the clipboard and pop right back into After Effects. And now we've got our new composition with our rotate in there. Let's paste that tracking data in. Let's have a look what's going on. Okay, well, we can see that's doing the exact opposite of what we want. So let's uh, hit U again. And remember, we don't want the position data. We're gonna keep the anchor point data. And let's see what's going on now. Well, it's still not stabilizing out. In fact, if anything, as it's rotating around, it's rotating double. So what we want to do is have the opposite rotation going that's currently going on. So at the moment it's going to, you know, it's starting off at minus 1.8. So to counteract that motion, 
we need to invert it. Really easy to do that. If I alt click on my stopwatch, I add a little expression down here. And at the moment, the expression is just saying that it's going to give me a value that's equal to the current keyframes. So to invert that, all I have to do is go multiplied by minus one, hit enter on the number pad. Let's have a little look at that. Whoa, trippy. Now that has completely stabilized out the rotation. That's kind of a cool little effect. Okay, so we still have that issue of the scale now because the scale is still doing what the rotation was doing and um, sort of doubling the effect. So we need to invert the scale as well. Now, then, again, this is quite straightforward using expressions. So I'm going to alt click on my scale over here just to bring up my expression here. Now we can't just do a multiply by minus one as we did with the rotation. We've got to do things a little bit differently, but it's not too, not too tricky. We're just going to start with creating up new variables for, for X and Y. So I'm going to put X equals, and then I'm going to write 10,000 divided by, and I want to find the, the original uh, X scale here. So I'm going to use my pick whip, the little um, donutty snail thing, and just go to the X value of our scale. And that types in everything that I need to there. Do a little semicolon, comes to the next line. Y equals 10,000 divided by, and we'll choose our Y, which is up there. Another semicolon, then a bit of square brackets, action going on with, a, uh, with an X, comma Y, close my square brackets, hit return on the number pad, and if everything's working out fine, we've got nice red values going on there. And that should now be stabilizing out my scale, rotation, and position, or anchor point, giving us this really interesting uh, kind of effect. So just imagine this effect here uh, applied to, to someone's face. So their face is just steady in the image, but the background itself is kind of moving around in a, in a weird kind of way. Cool, and that is the basic way of using transform data for Mocha to do stabilization in After Effects. In the next exercise, we're going to be taking a, a quick look at creating mask shapes and doing rotoscoping work. So I hope you join me there. Yeah.